Today I thought I'd shoot a quick video from my boat. I took the boat out for a bit of a run here today. It's gorgeous for a winter day. The sun's shining. As you can see, I got my sunglasses on. That's uh, Victoria would be that way. And if you look this way, that's Sydney, if you can see that off in the distance there. It's, uh, it's beautiful, it's flat, it's calm, and I'm all by myself. And I'm just hanging out here, and I thought I'd stop and shoot a quick video. Um, today is the middle of the week, uh, so it's a work week, uh, but I'm not working today. And I wanted to invite you to think about not working during the week as well. So work less, make more. And it's this weird paradox that actually happens um, when you work less, you actually make more money. It's totally backwards because when I first ran my accounting practice, it was all about the billable hour, the billable hour, the billable hour. So if I didn't put in billable hours, I'm not gonna make the money. But once I shifted my model over to a subscription-based value pricing model, um, it didn't matter how many hours I was actually in the office. And, and paradoxically, when I actually blocked off free days, and this is the thing that I want you to really think about, and I want to just share with you is that if you block off free days in your calendar and say, I am not working these days, I do not work these days. I'm going to do them for me. And I'm just going to uh, recharge, refresh. Like what I do is I love, go I love being on the boat. I'm Norwegian. I've got Viking blood in me. As soon as I get on the water, I'm happy. And my wife knows it too. Cause she's like, are you going to go on the boat today? And I'm like, yes, I am. She goes, that's good. <laughs> and so, um, you know, find a thing that you love to do, but but again, coming back to this free day concept, I, but you have to block it off in your calendar and say, this is the free day. I'm not going to work on this day. And so the, the, the interesting thing that happens, and I know where my mind used to go and where you might be going right now, it's like, yeah, well, that's great, Eric, but I'm too busy right now. I'm too busy. I've got way too much to do. Well, this, this is why you need to increase your price per client. You need to increase price per client so you can have less to do. But that's a whole nother topic. Let's just talk about a free day. When you actually block off a free day, when the days that you work, you have to compress what you're doing. Even you have to get more concentrated. So these are like incredibly focused days. My, my, um, my business coach, uh, Dan Sullivan talks about free days, focus days and buffer days. So these focus days where you just, you super focus. And, um, I didn't realize I was doing it because he wasn't my coach at the time when I had my practice, but now I get it. It's that because I have free days, I refresh and recharge. When I have focus days, I'm super hyper focused and I get work done. And I, it's like, I had a video on this before. It's called limitation is your friend. When you limit the amount of time you can work, you actually become more um, productive because you have to become more innovative on how you're going to uh, make more money by doing less, which is exactly what I show accounts how to do in the account success formula coaching program. And so anyways, there you go. I'm again, I'm enjoying the free day here and you might be saying, Oh yeah, Eric, but you're shooting a video. Yeah, but I love shooting videos. And I love sharing these topics with you. So for me, this isn't work. This is shooting a video with, with my colleagues and fellow CPAs and just sharing something that hopefully you can take and apply to your practice so that you can get your freedom back. So I'm Eric Solbakken reminding you that when you take back control of your business model, you can take back control of your life. Stay tuned for more success tips to come.